Thank you, Lupita, very much. Our very nervous semifinalists have joined us now as we come to a turning point. And if I may please have this very important piece of paper. These are the names of the six contestants who will go on as finalists. And ladies, once again, I will read these names in random order. Good luck to all. Our first finalist for Miss Universe 1992 is Miss Netherlands. Next is Miss Belgium. Miss India. Three names remain, Miss Venezuela. Miss Namibia. One finalist remains. It is Miss Colombia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the sixth finalist for the title of Miss Universe 1992. Nervous and excited smiles. They are six sensational ladies. Some Judges are going to have a tough time, Angela, I think, narrowing this group down to just three. Yes, and again, the previous scores no longer count, so these six finally start here on equal footing. During the next round of competition, you will see the individual judges' scores, but not the composite score. We thought we'd pump up the suspense for you a little Even bit. Even more. <laughs> All right. The judges' questions are coming up, and this is one of the most intense parts of oh, the competition. Yeah. And for you, because I, I have to ask you, who do you think will do best? Well, I have to go with Miss Columbia. She finished first in the interview competition. You just have to love her. She's so sweet and really well on her feet. Very charming. And uh, I think Miss India, she's really full of spark. She's funky. I, I really like her. And Miss Netherlands, what can I say? She's a doll. <laughs> have you heard the crowd? They're really behind Miss India tonight, yeah, too. Yeah, they really are. All right, our six finalists are going to be on the spot with some tough questions, and only three can survive. So stay with us. We'll be back in a moment after this word from new Incognito by CoverGirl. Badly on you? The 1992 Miss Universe pageant will continue. Welcome back to our live show from Bangkok where we continue the search for the new Miss Universe with the judges' questions. Now, here's how it works. Each judge's name is in this bowl, and each contestant will draw a name and respond to a question which that judge has prepared. Each contestant has 20 seconds to answer, allowing time for translation if necessary. The judges must now vote for the final three contestants. And they'll not only consider the answers to these questions, they'll also be reminded by incident replay pictures of each contestant's appearance earlier, both in the swimsuit and the evening gown competition. Now, the score from the judge who asked the question will be highlighted on your screen. So, judges, if you're ready, we'll start with uh, Miss Netherlands first. If you would, please draw a question. All right, let's see. This comes from judge number one. Kim Alexis. Kim, may we have your question, please? Could you ever marry someone your parents disapprove of? Oh, well, that's a difficult one. I think I would first try to convince my parents that he's really the right guy for me, but they'd have to know him anyway, so I think my mom knows what's good for me and what's not, but if they would totally disagree, which I doubt, um, I think I'd go ahead and marry him. <laughs> Please wait a moment. Lady with a mind of her own. In 1989, Holland's Angela Visser, of course, won Miss Universe, and their delegate last year was first runner-up. Vivian's got to be feeling that pressure. Thank you very much. If you'd step back, Miss Belgium, if you'd come forward and pull a question from the bowl. This is from judge number five. Marion Doherty. Marion, may we have your question, please? If you were banished from... Marion, your... let me get a microphone to you. Oh. That one is not on. 
If you were banished from your country... I'm sorry, that's still not on. Marion, hold on. I'm I'll, dead. I'll shout it out after you say it. Go ahead. Okay. If you were banished from your country, where you would you go from to your start a new life, and why would you choose yeah. that country? If you were banished from your own country and you had to start a new life, where would you go and what would you do? Um, I think I'd go to the neighbor country, France. Um, Belgium has two parts. It's also a French-speaking part in Belgium, so I'll, I'll take to the French-speaking country. I'd like to live then in Paris because I work now part-time as a model with my law studies. And uh, I'd like to work there then and continue the law studies over there because France is also a big country, also part of the European community. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. All those years of dreaming and the months of preparation, they all come down to this. In just moments, Anka will know if she still has a chance to be the new Miss Universe. Thank you very much. If you'd step back, Miss India, would you come forward, please, and draw a question from the bowl? And let's see what we have here. This is judge number two, Robin Leach. Robin, may we have your question, please? If you could go back into the past and change any event in history, which event would you choose and why? Uh, if I could change the past, I would love to go back to the day when our late Mrs. Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi was assassinated and she was killed. And I would love to get her back again because I think she had a very dynamic personality. And not only India, but all over the world, they appreciated her for what work she did. And I would definitely want her to come back. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. As an athlete, Madhu is used to competition and pressure. But you have to wonder if anything can prepare a young lady for this. Wow. Can you join the others, please? Miss Venezuela. Did you draw a question? We have our translator standing by in case. This is judge number nine. Kun Ying Sasime Sivikorn. May we have your question, please? If you could know one thing about your future, what would you like to know? I wouldn't like to know anything about my future because I like um, to live my day every day as it's the only day I have in life. And uh, I project my life, but I wouldn't like to know what's in the future. Thank you very much. Please wait here for a moment for the judges. It could be a crown in her future. Carolina has dreamed of being Miss Universe since she was four. Could this be the dream that's about to come true? We're about to find out. Thank you very much. Miss Namibia, if you'd come forward, please. And let me stir this up a little bit. Take one of those. Oh, there's still choices. Here we go. Uh, judge number eight, Estelle Getty. Estelle, may we have your question, please? If you had the chance to go into space for two years, accompanied by one other person, who would you want to take along and why? Aside from me. I think I'd like to take my mother along, not because she's a maternal figure for me. She has been the most inspiration in my life in the sense that she has encouraged me to do many, many things. Um, and she gives me emotional support as well as insight into what I want to do in the future for myself as well. Um, she's helped me to prepare my career for the future, which is holistic healing. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment. From that voice composure, you'd never guess that 19-year-old Michelle is one of the youngest contestants here. And if she wins, she'll be the first ever from Namibia to take the crown. Thank you. If you'd step back, Miss Columbia, if you'd come forward. And we have our translator standing by in case, but I don't think you'll have any trouble. Here we go. This is uh, judge number four, Luis Enrique. Luis, may we have your question, please? Would you prefer to live a life full of passion or one of serenity? A life of passion or serenity? Well, I guess a life full of serenity because when you're serene, that's what you say, uh, you, it's because you're thinking things and you can make passion out of your serenity. Very good. Thank you so much. If you'll wait here a moment. Paola said earlier that more than anything in life, she wants to do something big. A win here tonight. That goal becomes reality. The others now. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes this round of competition for our six finalists. And in a few moments, we'll name the final three contestants, one of whom 
will not only win the crown, but cash prizes and gifts worth over a quarter of a million dollars. Now here's our reigning Miss Universe, Lupita Jones, to show us what awaits tonight's winner. CoverGirl, the official cosmetics of the Miss Universe pageant, awards tonight's winner $7,500, plus a year's supply of CoverGirl cosmetics. CoverGirl redefines the look of the 90s with a range of products as innovative as they are beautiful. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. Miss Universe receives $7,500 plus a year's supply of Ogilvy Precisely Right, the home perm you just can't get wrong. Precisely Right by Ogilvy, the official home perm of the Miss Universe pageant for the girl who's precisely right tonight. 